and welcome to Fashion Pop. Today we'll be making DIY bell sleeve shirts, just like the one that I'm wearing right now. So I just finished working on this shirt and for one of the sleeves I used the sewing machine, whereas the other one I hand stitched. And I did that just to make sure that you can complete this project even if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't want to use one. And you totally can. So it's completely doable. It will take you a little bit longer, probably about an hour for both sleeves, uh, but it's fairly easy to do and you don't need the sewing machine to make these sleeves. If you do have a sewing machine and want to use it, then it will just make things a little bit easier and you'll be able to complete the project a little bit faster. Okay, so I'll be using these plain shirts that I had just laying around in my closet for longer than I want to admit. Um, so this is a plain black shirt with um, regular sleeves, they're just regular length. And I'll be using the sewing machine to add the bell shape fabric to this one and I will also be using this floral shirt uh, to show how you can hand stitch that and the sleeves on this one are a little bit sh shorter they go right below my um, elbow um, so obviously the sleeve length will increase as you add the fabric in a bell shape just like it did for um, the shirt that I'm wearing if you don't want the length of your sleeve to increase, then you can accommodate that by cutting um, part of the sleeve of the shirt. Um, but if you're okay with longer sleeves, then you can just go ahead and use whatever you have. If you do want to reduce the length, then just cut some of the sleeve of the shirt. Okay, so for the belt shape, I will be using um, just some fabric patches that I actually ordered a while ago. Um, so I got an assorted pack of uh, fabric patches in a square shape and they're actually quite handy for a variety of DIY projects at home. So I picked this green fabric with small white polka dots for the floral shirt and I'll be using this pink fabric with white polka dots for the black shirt. Um, obviously if you're looking for something more traditional and less flashy then you can just pick a fabric that matches the color of the shirt or go for a classic combination like black white or something like that. Um, finally you will need a thread that matches the color of your shirt so in my case this will be black. Um, just one last thing uh, about the sleeves before we begin. If you're using a shirt that is very um, tight and very elastic then you will need to use an elastic thread. Otherwise, you just won't be able to fit your hand through the sleeve. So the shirts that I'm using, luckily and not uh, entirely coincidentally, um, are not tight or that stretchy. So I'm able to fit the widest part of my, um, of my hand through the sleeve without stretching the fabric a whole lot. And for that reason, I'll just be using a regular thread. But if you are working with something that is very stretchy, then do use an elastic thread, otherwise you just won't be able to wear the shirt afterwards at all. Okay, so if you have these things handy, we can go ahead and get started. If not, you can check out our blog post and there I've included links to everything that I'm using for this project. One thing to take into account before you start working with the fabric is that ruffles take up quite a bit of fabric. What this means is that if you just measure the sleeve and use um, a patch of fabric that matches um, the length, you will not have enough to accommodate the ruffles. A way to go about it is you can use a test piece of fabric, measure its length when it's not ruffled, then make the ruffles as um, dense and as big as you want them to be, measure the length of the ruffled fabric and compare the two. This will give you a ratio of, for example, 5 inches of unruffled fabric will give me 2 inches of ruffled fabric. And by using this ratio, you can figure out how much you will need to cover the sleeve. Another way to go about it will just be to use a very long piece of fabric, and in the end you can cut any excess. Okay, so I have here my square fabric patch, and the first thing you would want to do is actually cut um, the fabric for each sleeve. Okay, so I have the piece of fabric that I'll be using for one of the sleeves right here. And the first thing to do would be to make the hem. So to do that, I'll be using a white thread because it goes better with the fabric than the black one um, I will be using later on. And to make the hem, I'll just fold the fabric. I'm using just the manufacturer's suggested tension, um, the third stitch length, um, and just a regular basic stitch. 
So the next part will be to make the ruffles, which I'll make on the other um, side of the fabric. And for this, I will set the tension to its maximum, which will be nine in my case, and the stitch length to four. So longest stitch and then just highest tension. Okay, so I have my ruffles right here. As you can see, they're not very dense, which is perfect for the sleeves. Um, I changed the thread so that now it matches the fabric of the shirt. And this is the sleeve of my shirt. So I'm starting at this um, stitch right here and aligning it with the end of the fabric. Just make sure that both the shirt and the fabric are on their reverse side when you're doing that. And I'll be stitching the ruffled side to the sleeve. Don't forget to change the tension. Okay, so we have it here. Let's clean up some of these threads and then finish it up by stitching these two together again with white thread. Okay, so this is our first sleeve. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the second sleeve. Now we have the shirt with two bell sleeves stitched to it. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing, but this time instead of using a sewing machine, I'm gonna sew the bell sleeves by hand. I already have my fabric patch right here, and I have another one for the other sleeve. So first I'm gonna do the hemline with a white thread to match the color of the fabric, more or less. Um, and I've used these pins just to kinda track down where I want the hemline to be. After I'm done with the hemline, on the other side of the fabric, I'm gonna gather the fabric to make ruffles, again using the white thread. Once the ruffles are completed, I'm gonna fold the fabric and sew it together to form a sleeve. And finally, I'm gonna sew this on the shirt using a black thread that matches the color of the shirt. Okay, so this is the first sleeve and now we're going to do the same thing for the second sleeve using the other patch of fabric. I'm wearing our DIY bell sleeve shirt that we made today. And this is the shirt that I made using the sewing machine. And here I have the shirt that I hand stitched. So depending on what you're looking for out of this project, uh, you might want to opt for the sewing machine. Even though it is possible to complete everything by hand stitching, um, the results are going to be quite different. Um, the stitches are not going to be as tight or as clean. Um, the result is not going to be as durable. So if you're just looking to have fun and try something new um, and you don't want to invest in a sewing machine, that's completely fine. Um, like I said, you can do everything just by hand. If you are looking for a little bit of a more professional look um, that kind of says, you know, I found this in the store or I'm really good at DIY projects, then definitely opt for the sewing machine. For a step-by-step -step of what we covered in this video, you can check our blog post. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel to see other fun stuff we're working on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.